It's important to read intersectional books year-round. A great way to do that is to read widely. Not every book or author can examine every intersection of womanhood, but authors can represent their own experiences exceptionally well. Angela Davis tackles the complexities of black womanhood, and Audre Lorde speaks about her own experiences as a black lesbian. Similarly, historians and philosophers can illustrate the history of women's rights that is foundational to feminist literature. PUP author and philosopher Manon Garcia tackles the complexities of female submission while providing an in-depth analysis of Simone de Beauvoir's The Second Sex. Garcia redefines submission without prioritizing domination. Why men oppress is not her concern. Instead, Garcia traces de Beauvoir's argument to uncover why women choose to submit. As Garcia writes, when I write about submission, I seek to describe the action or situation of the person who submits, that is, who chooses, in a way, their own submission. She explains that there are two ways to submit, active submission, which is done willingly, and passive submission, which is the choice of not resisting power. A key to understanding the complexities of womanhood is understanding their struggle for respect and freedom. Race, gender, and sexuality are important factors in understanding the many ways women and non-binary people are oppressed. Another important intersection is that of class. Dorothy Sue Cobble, in her book For the Many, brings to life the women who cross borders of class, race, and nation to build grassroots campaigns, found international institutions, and enact policies dedicated to raising the standard of life for everyone. Cobble reflects on early women's rights programs, such as the Women's Trade Union League, which was comprised of a mixed class of white women and some men, with the goal of prioritizing the interests of low-income women. Increasing the participation and power for workers, laboring men and women of all races and cultures, Cobble argues, was part of the solution for the great problems of the day. For the many doesn't only consider the plight of poor white women or of poor Americans, but the plights of women of color in America and abroad. Here are some other PUP books that address intersections. Leading trans scholar and activist Grace Elizabeth Flavery explores cultural representations of modern gender transition in her book, Pleasure and Efficacy, of pen names, cover versions, and other trans techniques. Her book is available for pre-order and is out May 9th. From Kate Clancy comes Period, The Real Story of Menstruation, a bold and revolutionary perspective on the science and cultural history of menstruation. Her book is also available for pre-order and out April 18th. In Claudia Goldwyn's career and family, Woman's century-long journey towards equity, which traces women's journey to close the gender wage gap and sheds new light on the continued struggle to achieve equity between couples at home, which is also out now.